Howdy, Free Desert Boy here. Hey, I got to tell you, I just love getting back to the range issue 45 call. I got my favorite one, my favorite starter, my favorite open sight, probably my favorite open sight lever action now. The Rossi R92, based on the 1892 lever action. Um, 10 rounds, 45 Colt. As you can see, it's unloaded just as I was showing you the rounds in it. I had a great time shooting this gun. This gun never fails to uh, to uh, make me feel good about the fact I got it and being satisfied with it as a purchase. A lot of people might ask, uh, you know, what do you think about Rossi? I, I, am, I have no issues with it. Yeah, it's got the little funky safety on top, but that gun shoots like a dream. And I mean, it's I had a couple of ammo things with it, but only one type of cowboy action ammo. Everything else, it's shot just fine. However, I had a brand new gun. So I had a great day, and I had a very disappointing day all at once. This beautiful Taylor's and Company 1873 which is based on the Cattleman II because it is one, two, oops, one, two, three, right? Instead of the one, two, three, four. And if we flip it open and so forth, I don't know whether you can see it, but we can see that there's no rounds in it. It is unloaded. I just got back to the range with it. I love the weight of the gun. When it shoots, it shoots nicely. Notice what I said. When it shoots, it shoots nicely. However, <laughs> that's the issue. Now, I paid probably more for this gun. I thought about just going and buying a regular, you know, Cattleman, you know, Uberte. And I could have got one for about 500 bucks. I spent about $800 on this one. You know, and instead I said, oh man, this is so awesome looking. It's Taylor's and Company and everything. Well, if the other one would have been a standard, you know, one, two, three, four click, uh, I think I probably wouldn't have had the issues I had. I don't know that, but just from the brief reading I did at the range, I, I had, I just, I, I had such a number of failure to fires. And I tried different ammo. I tried HSN 250. I tried Grizzly 250. I tried, um, uh, what is it? Uh, it's the Quilla or Gila, you know, uh, 200. Uh, you know, I tried all kinds of different ammunition in here. And only once, I think I was able to fire all five rounds because I only load five, right? Load one, skip one, load the other four, standard, you know, cowboy action shooting kind of protocol. Um, anyway, um, I had so many failures to fire, and some of them when I brought it back around, yeah, it, it would finally it would strike it again and it would fire. But I had some where that just didn't work out. And when I looked at them, they were very light primer strikes. I put those same rounds in my Rossi and boom, no problem, okay. Kind of set them aside, you know, and practiced all the safety protocols, waited and so forth after failure to fire, you know, wanted to make sure it's not going to ignite, you know, all the things you're supposed to do and you, you must do, okay. Let's put it that way, not supposed to do, but you must do to be safe if you keep the gun pointing down range in a safe direction when you're at the range. You know, if you need help from a range safety officer, any of that, you know, you should. But just making sure that if you got a round that's just not firing, you know, you want to give it adequate time for it to possibly discharge while it's still aligned with the barrel. So, you know, uh, but anyway, following all that, um, I had so many rounds. I must have had, I think I only had one cylinder where I fired all five rounds without a failure to fire and I and it was uh, and when I tried the same ammo again it, it didn't work in fact I had like four failure to fires so um, 
this would not be in its current state any kind of a reliable uh, firearm you know for hunting for anything right now you know definitely not for competition shooting and I read some some articles where people were talking about when they went to do SAS kind of things they had this issue now some people seem to think that the issue has to do with this new retractable firing pin that Uberti has decided to incorporate as a safer, not safety, but, you know, totally safe, but a safer feature in single action uh, revolvers. And uh, I still am following the thread on that, you know, I'm kind of looking through different forums and I might go look at Facebook or whatever, but anyway, very disappointing. Probably will try to take it to the range again. Where I purchased it, they have a range. I was at a different range today because I had to go in the evening and uh, um, just try a few more. Try to figure out and watch my videos to see if there's anything I can tell about pulling it back and pulling the trigger. Because I tried tried to make sure is that I'm not pulling it back hard enough. Am I not pulling the trigger? you know, down all the way, you know, all those kind of things. And uh, I couldn't really tell, you know, couldn't really tell what the situation was that was, uh, I couldn't duplicate it, right? And I could even tried to figure out, is it a particular chamber? Is the bullet like seated in there farther than it should be, you know, where the primer is not striking consistently or something like that. So anyway, um, I love this gun. It's an awesome looking gun. However, got to figure out what happened with it. So I still love shooting 45 Colt and I hope somehow um, right now I know that there's, I've been reading some articles where it's saying like the UPS won't ship guns anymore or whatever. If I have to send it to Taylor's and Company, because I don't know where I got it at, or has anybody that can take care of it, I don't think they do, um, then um, I don't know what I'm going to do. There's another couple of firearms dealers in town that do shipping and stuff. Some of them are manufactured. One of them is a manufacturer here in town as well. So I don't know. I'll have to see. So stay tuned. I mean, I'd love to be in the range, and I'll show you some of the range footage, maybe, <laughs> just so you can see that see that it does shoot. But uh, other than that, it was it – was, uh, pretty disappointing however i love that rossi that rossi is a good rifle so thanks and as redesert boy always says be safe out there whatever you're doing if you like this video please like comment and subscribe